Sorry about that. We had some inappropriate booty shaking behind me and I had to put a stop to it. So don't encourage the booty shaking. My camera. <laughs> oh, my children. My children. Anyhow, back to me standing up straight. Um, I was I didn't know if it was gonna be like a long process working towards being able to go upright again because before surgery I literally could not make myself go all the way up and it had nothing to do with pain because I can fight through pain I just could not get there and so from the minute surgery was done I could pop straight up so yes yeah, so I'm gonna I've got my brace it makes me thick look at this straight straight and do you notice how I look like a bumblebee today yellow and white and black I'm like a bumblebee but I can stand straight and to me that is a miracle um, so I've been doing a lot of thinking this week and it has been one of the happiest weeks of my life. <laughs> that might sound sad because I had a big surgery and it was hard, but it was, I've been so happy with the exception of the day and a half that I was taking the Oxycontin at the hospital, which made me a crazy lunatic and sucked the life out of me. And my mom said, it's kind of like, like I got attacked by one of those Dementors from Harry Potter. That's what it was like. With the exception of that, it's been the happiest week and I've been on this emotional high and I'm like, why am I so happy this week? And I realized the last time I felt this happy was the week Elizabeth was born. So I put two and two together and realized the, the common thread between these two events was that something that I thought had been taken from me or that I might not ever have again was given back. You know, with Elizabeth, I I didn't know if she was ever going to live. They didn't think she was going to live and there was a period of time during that pregnancy when I had resigned myself to the fact that I was going to have to bury her. And so then when she was born and I had her back and she was in my arms and she was alive, there that was a joy unlike anything I've ever experienced and I know that I'll never be able to find the words to describe it. Um, but this week I felt the same kind of happiness, not to that level obviously, but it's been really, really happy. <laughs> and it's because um, when I lost um, my, well it's not really health, kind of health, my ability to even stand up or walk and not knowing if I'd get that back because um, I did a lot of research online about this surgery beforehand and a lot of accounts that I read people still had trouble and people still felt a lot of pain and I didn't want to be one of those I want to be the one of the ones that were like suddenly perfect and then so all of a sudden I've been given this gift back of my back I can stand up and I can walk and I can sleep and I cannot be in pain 100% of the time and it's this huge gift and I feel like I have a second chance. So I'm so happy. So happy. The best thing about... Um, I'm feeling... Obviously, it's really tender on my stomach, but not my back. There's no pain on my back at all anymore. It's all, the, all the pain I feel is from the incision and where they messed with my insides. It's just bruised, I think. Um, but before surgery, for the past year, it's hurt it. And then... It's been hurting, and then um, the last six or eight months is when I've been starting. To, it was getting hard to sleep, and it was painful. And then the last two months, it was excruciating. Where if I laid down at night, I had to keep all the muscles in my body like tight and tense because if I relax them, like all the pressure would go down on my nerves, and that's when I start screaming because it hurts so bad. <laughs> I couldn't sleep, and so from the moment I woke up from surgery, I could just lay in bed relaxed every muscle relaxed and not feel a thing. No wonder I'm happy. <laughs> Anyhow, um, Dr. Gruber did a great job and I'm grateful. This is why we take Elizabeth to him, because he gets the job done. Um, sweet little Elizabeth, she still has her same shunt, the same one she got at one day old. We're knocking on wood now. <laughs> Why'd I say that? Watch. Revision next week, right? No. Anyhow, uh, I'm had a great week. I'll keep posting updates about the recovery. 
because that's really what I wanted to know about when I was waiting for my surgery. I wanted to know what was going to happen. What was I supposed to expect? How was it going to be? And luckily, it's been a lot better than the things I read. So, anyhow, we'll chat soon. Bye.